Welcome back, everybody, to the second best out of three. Fear had that winner's bracket advantage, but it's gone now. And neither player banned. We gave the players three matchup in the f matchups in the first series. It was Shadow Shaman versus Lashrak, Shadow Fiend versus Viper, and Queen of Pain versus Puck. Both of them banned Shadow Shaman versus Lashrak, which leaves two matchups. We flipped a coin. We got Queen of Pain versus Puck, so that's what we use first. Since neither player banned Shadow Fiend versus Viper, we're going to use that for the second best out of three. The winner of this takes home the additional $200 in prize money. I'm LD, you're watching me on the summits, finally coming to the conclusion for a fistful of tangos, and I'm joined here today yeah, by Luminous, we're David and David. Yep, Viper versus Shadowfiend. I feel like this matchup is fairly boring in a sense, because... Oh, I, I, I like it. I mean, I think it's fun, but it's it, it's kind of easy to tell how it's going to turn out in a lot of cases. Yeah, I mean, there's... Uh, there's Viper is very far, a lot stronger early on, and then it kind of flips till, till later, so... I feel like both both players know exactly what they should be doing in each stage of the game. There's very little surprises in a it's, sense, and that's kind of what I mean by boring. It's kind of a volatile matchup, though. If you get a good rune on the Viper, you can look to Tower Dive. And you, once you get that level 3 orb, the problem is if Shadow Fiend hits a triple raise, it can turn the fight. When Viper hits 6, he suddenly has the massive advantage to zone you out of the lane. But before that, at level 5, Shadow Fiend's actually very scary with triple raise. We so saw Funic play this matchup. I forget whose opponent was. Uh, might have been, no, was it Sing Sing? I can't remember, but Funic basically manned up on the Shadow Fiend. If you hit a triple raise on the Viper, you can basically kill them. The one other thing that's interesting is what build does the Viper go for? We saw a lot of different choices. Uh, oh, it was Kuroki he played. Kuroki went Corrosive Skin, which I don't think is the correct build, but he went for it. I believe it was Kuroki anyway, and we're seeing early Nether Toxin from Fear, so it looks to be a much more standard build for him. Yeah, there's always argument whether you want to go Nether Toxin 1 or Poison Attack 1. Now, the obvious advantage of Nether Toxin is that get you quick level 2, harass, well, not exactly harass the hell out of uh, Shadow Fiend, but deny a lot of his creeps through your extra damage um, and, and, uh, and attacks, of course. But the thing is, Poison Attack 1 really zone out a Shadow Fiend as well. So there's definitely plus and minuses here and there. Fear, or excuse me, S4, look at its block. Again, range creep in the front, and it's right in the middle of the river, which... I think favors the Shadow Fiend a little bit more because the obvious disadvantage is towards the Shadow Fiend early on. If he gets an even block, I guess he shouldn't uh, be too sad about it. Yeah, one thing you can go for on Viper is just an early, if not going for the Wraith down right away, then building one quickly. And that's what Fear is doing because if you get that last hitting advantage, Shadow Fiend versus other heroes that aren't Shadow Fiend has a lot of trouble last hitting early. If he has a good start, it gets very difficult to come back though. And with Fear getting uh, this early Wraith band, it could make it very difficult for S4 to last hit. Still 0 CS. Fear's yep. really doing a good job of controlling the lane. And, and here's the thing about what Fear is doing right now. You don't have to actually get the actual deny against Shadow Fiend. Just make sure he doesn't get the last hit, especially right under the tower. Wow. And Shadow Fiend is getting none of it right now. So S4 not looking too good. Again, another another creep that got hit by the tower, and uh, Fear hits it one more time. So he didn't get the deny, but Fear, uh, S4 didn't get the last hit. And that's just, just as good as the deny. And if he had these early souls, he'd be getting all of these last hits. Nine sure, last yeah. hits on Fear, zero on S4. And now and he's forced raises, to use raises even, to farm. even missing it too, so... Boy, he's getting crushed. He is really getting... I have not seen a 1v1 that is this bad. I mean, this could just lose you the game. It's so hard to come back. In, in a real in a in a 5v5 game, you, there's still ways to come back on Shadow Fiend because your supports can stack camps, they can come and gank, they can just zone this Viper out of lane for a few levels while you catch up. But at 1v1 mid, if you have a bad start on a hero like Shadow Fiend, it's almost impossible. And now look at the positioning. S4 is going to start uh, heading towards that top rune, hoping to get one. The rune's actually bottom. I didn't catch if Fear went for a courier scout this game, but I assume uh -oh. he probably did. And Fear just comes and zones him all the way away from the creep wave. He needs to get like level three and start raising uh, for for some exp and need some farm. But Fear is really preventing that. If Fear goes boots first right now, Shadow Fiend would just have no chance. Unfortunately, he's gonna find the worst rune that he go for in, in the oh, comeback no. situation. He sees a reach and he's not even gonna pick it up. He knows that's not what he needs. He needs something like a double damage, haste, or illusion. Illusion probably being the best because he could get some CS. But now he's what down by twenty one CS. Yeah, this Holy is, God! And he's level two and Fear's level four. This is virtually GG. Also, Fear went for two points another Toxin, which is the correct build of one v one. A lot of players. You do want to get Poison Attack level 3 by the time it hits 5 for the 0 second cooldown, but when you're laning, leveling up Nether Toxin improves your last hit and your ability to win man fights. So this is the correct build from Fear. Something you see a lot of less experienced players don't go for uh, in those 1v1 matchups, and it can limit your potential. S4 is so screwed. 
Well, S4 is not giving up just yet. He, again, at level 5, will have the three raises and maybe could win it. Win fear, a fight when there, Fear but... hits level 5, that's game. I mean, he could just orb walk him down. He's going to have boots soon. That's <laughs> true. And, and let's see. I mean, that the one thing that S4 could do against that is basically keep raising the creeps so that the creep is always on the side of Fear so that orb walking never really comes in effect. But he doesn't have the mana capability He's to do something like that. Yeah. Fear has the boots going for lo looks to be a reign of a killer, which means you'll have you're more likely to have the creeps in your favor, or at least not as disadvantageous as they could be. And now as four walks bottom, he's gonna get that regen rune. Also notice how when these players go to check runes, if they know there's already a rune there, or if they spot one, they try and time it so they can get a double spawn. We saw it earlier, we're seeing it again. Regen? No, he just no, he's not he's, going to. Okay. He's gonna go back. He needs that exp in lane, and he's gonna get a boots first. I imagine. Yes, that's the boots first on Shadow Fiend coming in, and also uh, that's a Tranquil boots on Viper. So the movement speed difference is not even close. Oh, he's not not going for the rate of a kill, but this is a smart build as well because you just want that sustain in lane, and also it's great to get in range for that initial nuke. Here we go, Orb off gas four down. At full HP, it's a bit hard to dive him, but once you get him to like half, it's so easy to get that kill. Yeah, that was three orb walking, forcing out a salve usage. Oh. Uh oh, S4 got to back off. Raise number one. He's going to try to fight this. There's no way Fear is going to kite the hell out of him. It's going to try to make the safety of the tower. There's going to be a die from Fear, and that's going to be first blood. GG can be called now. Yeah, once S4. once Viper hits level <laughs> six and you're le what is, it's level four, just no comeback mechanic. And, and again, in 5v5, there are, but in 1v1, this is pretty much it. We'll see. I mean, he may fight on. If he, if he was level 5 and, let's say, Fear dives the tower, maybe he can get the raises off. But if Fear plays it correctly, there's just almost no way to lose at this point. Yeah, Fear's got to make some big mistake. Or S4, he could just basically turtle. Again, keep raising, keep raising, and hopefully yeah, Fear no. never actually attacks you. And hopefully get better rune <laughs> control as well. And it's going to be Illusion Bot. Yeah, he didn't wait for the double spawn. So now he's going to have to spend a lot of time walking for this next rune. And the thing is with the Triangle Bits, you can, just, you can just run up to the Shadow Fiend and he won't be able to get out of range in time uh, with that higher move speed. He's sitting at 360 right now when the Triangle Bits aren't deactivated. So let's see. Fear could go for this, but also S4 can maybe bait out a Viper Strike if he uses yeah, the solution properly. exactly what he's doing. But I do believe, I mean, Fear's got to suspect something considering the fact that Shadow Fiend's been missing for a long time, and that miss uh, or that deny attempt on on the Shadow Fiend should have gave it away. The attack damage is way too low, and S4 knows it as well. He's gonna basically just use the last hit, and I guess the bottle's coming up next for Shadow Fiend. But yeah, Fear's still Fear's still denying creeps, but he's got an illusion rune. That's trouble. Yeah, he's getting so. This is gonna help him catch up a little bit. Remember, Fear just needs oh. It's hard to breach that high ground. I would really like to see an observer planted up on the hill at all times for fear, just so he can always know what S4 is up to. Especially now that it hits night. Here's the thing though, Shadow Fiend's five. And if he ever gets up to seven, yeah, then I think the game he takes his match. Again. Yeah, I think he takes his match, despite how far behind he is right now. If he gets seven, he's got the game, I feel like, because Viper could never outpush a Shadow Fiend like that. Yeah, he can't outpush him, but eventually the Shadow Fiend will outfarm you. Hmm, Viper. Double damage rune gets sniped up here by S4. That's going to get him a couple of levels. Lock. This rune luck. Well, with this one, it's anyway. It's not luck. He, he was checking top with his illusion, though. So it's. Well, he could have denied it at least, but he did get a double damage. Yeah. So, I I mean, S4's looking good. No. If he just stays safe. He's, he's literally 1,800 gold behind. I wouldn't say he's looking good, but he has a <laughs> decent shot of it at that. Yeah, I mean... Any other hero 1800 go behind, I, I mean... What am I seeing a Blink Dagger on Fear? <laughs> like, just just go mana, blink it, and go. Yeah, it's hard to farm something like that, though. He's stacking stats. Yeah. S4, catching up in the last hits, and now he's getting yep. souls. Double damage, he's souls. close to level 6. Is he pulling his way back in? He may be. <laughs> this, is the, this is the closest down by 1800 go 1v1 I've seen. <laughs> Right, like you said, when he gets to level 7, it gets really hard for Fear to ever dive him, because he's not going to have... I mean, I would like to see that Reign of Basilius for him, just to help him push. S4, what's on the way? It's a bottle. So yeah, he's, he just wants to spam those nukes, control the runes. We'll have to see. Fear has his patented observers on the courier, and he's stacking Wraith Bands. Yeah, I think that's what you... Like you said, it's the most critical thing, is to have that high ground vision, and suddenly come out of nowhere and get that poison attack off and, and really seal the deal. But as for three raises, now the creep equilibrium on the side of Fair. Fair 
putting the war on high ground. He's gonna Viper Strike here. No, just oh. a little bit of harass. I actually, he could have dove that, I feel. S4 does not have any point, any mana. He wouldn't have been able to use his bottle. Fear probably could have ended the game there, but he plays it safe. He's gonna back off. Yep. The only thing that could have hurt him is if he got fogged, but it's really hard to do that when you're... Because you can barely move when your Viper Strike down Poison Deck. He's going to... Nope. nope, nope, not against the Crete Wave. S4 has one raise left. Probably gonna dump one to get the last oh. hit, but here comes Viper. Again, getting the high ground vision, and that's gonna be it. Viper Strike, he's gonna try to raise his way out, and we're gonna go to game oh, number two. GG gets called. You gotta, you gotta admire S4's play, though. I mean, any little thing he could do to claw his way back into this matchup, you know, but Fear played it correctly. That Observer Award spelled doom for him. So, guys, we head to game two. Whoever wins this best out of three takes home the $200. The old man does it in game one. Can S4 strike back? We'll find out.